So the Back for Blood closed alpha has come and gone, and after about 10 hours of playing the same act over and over again, I had an absolute blast. You were given a choice of four cleaners, all with their own pros and cons. The card system was so much fun to play around in, mixed with the uncertainty of the director's cards, definitely added a few more hours of playability. Now, I'm not saying that the card system didn't necessarily feel like you weren't doing the same thing over and over again, but without it, I don't think I would have put as much time into the alpha as I did. The gunplay felt really good, and the most satisfying sound was popping the heads off of Riddance. The alpha ran surprisingly smooth, with very little lag or bugs. The only game-breaking bug there was made this ladder have a higher body count than a 20-foot ord. For some reason, if players let go of this ladder at all, it caused you to instantly go down in casual, or an instant death in any other game mode. Ammo did seem really rare at first, even in the easier difficulty, but some balances were pushed out during the alpha that helped a lot with that issue. The spawn rate of the special infected did seem to be really high. Sometimes you'd walk out of the safe room and be met with four special infected right off the bat. Which sounds like a lot of fun until two bruisers show up, teamed with a couple of aimbot hawkers, leaving you to get your absolute shit kicked in. Definitely brought some frustration to the group. The zombie swarmed you fast, and every hit applied a slow to your character. This was matched with an already punishing stamina system that left you gasping for air every six feet to wait for the bar to fill back up again. But after an adjusting period and some card building, it made it a little easier to adapt to the game. But even after all that, the only thing that pissed people off about this closed alpha had nothing to really do with the alpha, but the price of the game. Back for Blood is going to be a full priced $60 game with an optional $30 annual pass that will include new stories, characters, and even some special ridden. There is even a $100 bundle for all this and some extra skins. The reason Reddit, Discord, and Twitter blew up about this is due to some bad memories of a previous game called Evolve that shared the same heavy microtransactions that Back for Blood is going to. Personally, I can see this game being very successful and have hundreds of hours of gameplay and content, but I could see this game sharing the same death as Evolve just because of the microtransactions. I could definitely spend $60 on this game if it came with everything, but $90 for a four player co-op campaign just ain't sitting right with me. I mean, this game is best played with friends, but I already know my friends are not diehard Left 4 Dead fans, and talking them into spending $90 on any game with how 2020 has been treating a lot of people is just impossible. So for that reason alone, I can see myself passing on getting this game, and I know I can't be the only one. But I'm not losing hope yet. This game doesn't release until June 22nd, 2021, so a lot could change by then. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informational. And until next time, Psycho out.